national data center. Do you think that there's a need for social media policy in all organizations in Ghana? I think that I say it's not a problem. I say if somebody wants to uh, come get you, they just ignore it. I would say that sometimes you don't need to create new laws to tackle uh, the problems. problems that are already If somebody's doing something to that in Ghana, uh, and it's probably one example, it's Saka or it's Ghana, it's coming from Ghana, it's Ghana. You don't need to create another law that says that if you spam someone online, our IP block is known, so if somebody from an Ecobank IP address does whatever on the internet, it is traceable back to us as a company. Disclosure of end user information. If a court order comes, we have to oblige. But it kind of looks like, okay, because I'm waiting for, let's see, set it, check on set it. Because I'm waiting for that, so we use some of giving up my um, rights to internet freedom. Social media is now the next thing. So if you say anything out there, if you see us, be on TV and say it, or if you see on radio and say it, it's the same, the rules apply. Because of the core of the crux of all of this is that we need affordable and accessible internet for people to use in part of social media. But this one company that's monopolizing it and it's not cheap, what's the government going to do about it? And so, um, so I think that we all need to understand two different things. And as I went to India, I saw something I was reading that year. I was tweeted. I remember I saw the George on that time. He got me to ask this little So, so thing we are thinking, especially this to do with the new phase of social media. You can even say something about the debate that we were having before. Maybe have a strong opinion or something. Two, three, three moments. See you. As we said before, opening a social page is not enough. You cannot open a Facebook page and think that you are a social brand. You are not. Because to be a social brand, the first thing that you have to do is to listen to your audience. And listen to their needs, listen to their wants, listen to their interests. If you just think about, okay, is popular is going to be good, you make it wrong. When the farmer is growing his crop, it goes for profit, but it's not easy because of profit. It is what we are using social media for that we find here. It's not what he was going to reach. <laughs> Without the actual dialogue, social media is a waste of time because social media is an augmentation of your dialogue you already have. If you don't have that dialogue, you're wasting your time because there's a few people who will manipulate the extension of it. Um, this is Blogging 101. I'll go first. Uh, my name is Yipua Enswa, and this is Power One. And we make friendly roommates. So in a month, I have 2,000 subscribers. And I also have started, and I'm going to change the passion to So for you, blog starting from being a journal or something where you write about yourself and your own personal experiences. So that leads really well into the first piece, which is purpose. So, blogging actually does it. And when you get to the you understand that your composition is good, you have a message, people actually engage in it. Then, as a social blogger, you have a particular million things for actually allow the development to find some form of light takes 60 megapixels of pictures. So that if the phone allows you to do it, that's fine. But if you run it through an Instagram or a Snapseed or an application and it's showcased and it's really dead, that's the topic. So the prices for vegetables, they gave out radios uh, to the middle areas. 
dan immediately he goes away to his seat by the husband's uh, who took the window when he left the house this morning. So, definitely that, that's an issue for, for like the large number of gatherings. But I think it's also important to look at the women who already have access and see how they can do uh, the way they do social media. It's not only important, but I think it's important. The role you play today sort of become observers or they encourage you. I have never really heard anybody talk about the role that men play. I've been lucky to have uh, supported male figures in my life. It has allowed me the platform to do so many different things. So I'm always advocating and encouraging people to get onto social media, to get creative on social media. I think it's to ask all of you to become members of Blogging Ghana if you are not. It costs only 40 Ghana cities per year. And it's very important that women also organize uh, in structures that are already here. We have to embrace it. Uh, it's what we are going to use to do everything. Okay. Um, as a blogger, social media is key for you to promote what you are working on. I like to say keep it real. Keep it real because if your voice is absent, the whole population suffers.